Monkeypox is a rare disease caused by a virus. It's characterized by a fever, swollen lymph nodes, and a widespread rash. The rash causes many lesions on the face and extremities. Most cases of monkeypox occur in Central and Western Africa. Monkeypox is a zoonotic disease. This means it can be transmitted from animals to humans and vice versa. It can also be transmitted from one human to another. In this video, you'll learn about the causes, symptoms, and diagnosis of monkeypox. We also explain how monkeypox spreads and how it can be treated. What causes monkeypox? Monkeypox is caused by the monkeypox virus. The virus is part of the orthopox virus genus, which includes the virus that causes smallpox. Scientists first identified the disease in 1958. There were two outbreaks among monkeys used for research. That's why the condition is called monkeypox. The first case of monkeypox in a human happened in 1970 in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Monkeypox Symptoms The symptoms of monkeypox are similar to those of smallpox, but monkeypox symptoms are typically milder. After you contract the monkeypox virus, it can take 5 to 21 days for the first symptoms to appear. It takes 7 to 14 days in many cases. The early symptoms include fever, which is commonly the first symptom, headache, muscle aches, backache, fatigue, chills, and swollen lymph nodes. After the fever develops, a rash usually appears one to three days later. The rash typically affects the face, which is the most common sight, palm of the hands, soles of the feet, mouth, genitalia, and eyes, including the conjunctive and cornea. After the lesions dry and scab over, they fall off. The symptoms of monkeypox generally last 2 to 4 weeks and go away without treatment. How does monkeypox spread? Monkeypox spreads through direct contact with the following substances of animals or humans with the infection, like blood, bodily fluids, skin or mucus lesions, and respiratory droplets for human-to-human -human contact. These substances can enter the body via breathing, mucous membranes, or broken skin. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, says that person-to-person -person spread is very low. When it does occur, it's usually through prolonged face-to-face -face contact and large respiratory droplets. This might happen if you are within a 6-foot radius with someone who has it for 3 hours or longer. Transmission can also happen through bites and scratches from infected animals, eating the meat of an infected animal, and contact with a contaminated item like bedding. The main disease carrier is unknown. It's thought that African rodents are involved. Is monkeypox deadly? According to the CDC, one in every 10 cases of monkeypox will result in death. Severe cases are more likely to cause death. Risk factors for severe cases include being younger, having prolonged exposure to the virus, having poor overall health, and developing complications. How is monkeypox treated? There is currently no treatment for monkeypox. However, monkeypox is self-limiting, which means it can get better without treatment. Some medications can be used to control an outbreak and prevent the disease from spreading. They include Vaccinia vaccine or smallpox vaccine, Vaccinia immune globulin or VIG, and antiviral medication in animals. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, the smallpox vaccine is approximately 85% effective in preventing the development of monkeypox. If you receive the smallpox vaccine as a child and contract the monkeypox virus, your symptoms may be mild. Who should be screened for monkeypox and how is it diagnosed? It's important to get a screen for monkeypox if you live with people who have developed monkeypox. 
Work around people who have monkeypox. Have traveled to a country where monkeypox is more common. Have interacted with imported animals. Received a bite or a scratch from infected animals. Ate partially cooked meat or other products of infected animals. And visit or live near a tropical rainforest. Doctors diagnose monkeypox using several methods like Medical history. This includes your travel history which can help your doctor determine your risk. Lab tests. This involves testing the fluid from lesions or dry scabs. These samples can be checked for the virus using a polymerase chain reaction PCR test. And biopsy. A biopsy involves removing a piece of skin tissue and testing it for the virus. Blood tests are not usually recommended. That's because the monkeypox virus stays in the blood for a short time. Therefore, it's not an accurate test for diagnosing monkeypox. Monkeypox mainly occurs in tropical areas of Central and Western Africa. If you have recently traveled to these regions, it's important to get screened for monkeypox. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and family. It can be helpful to prevent the spread of this disease.